this video, Louis and I pop up to North Yorkshire to a place called North Allerton, where we go and see a couple of YouTubers, um, Kirsty and Paddy, who are converting a transit van on a very small budget to live in, and they're just about finished. Um, and they've really done this on a small budget. So we just pop in and spend the night there and uh, see how they get on and pick up on their story. It's also interesting because they have a plan how to make money off the internet while they're on the road as well. Hi guys! Who are you? <laughs> Do you recognise these two? Who are you? This is Kirsty. That's Perdy. Perdy. Oh. And Kaylin, who's. Uh, say hi guys! She's just hot wiring a grass hot, 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 hot wiring a tractor, yeah, long mower. And what's your channel called again? Van Life with Betty Boondocker. And it's a real story, isn't it? There's a real story. Oh, there. yeah, it, there's definitely a story it never behind ends. this. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, you tell them, love. Yeah, yeah. We, well, uh, distract the August one. time, bought a, a transit van, which turned out to be a bit of a, a rust bucket. We've had nothing but problem with it after problem after problem. And this week, last weekend, we got finally moved in and uh, discovered we had a leak in the roof after all the pallet boards had gone up and sanded and wood filled and yeah, a little bit of a nightmare. And I was just about to start ripping the roof off <laughs> and then Dave appeared <laughs> in, a big, in a big black shiny steam <laughs> <laughs> and came to my, <laughs> my rescue and said, no, there's no need to do that. Why don't you try? Sikaflex. Sikaflex so can fix anything. We've been out and we've bought a, although it is a substitute uh, a product. A temporary out. measure. Yeah, we're going to have a go with that. So this is Betty, our Ford Transit Jumbo. Still a work in progress. So this will be our garage area. Lots of storage and the dogs. And then we've got our bed here, fixed bed up there. And then sliding window. That's such a good idea. We, we thought if it's raining, you know, we want it to be as stealthy as possible. Yeah. So we can get camped on all them three spots. But it's going to be quite miserable on rainy days being stuck in a wooden box. <laughs> so, you know. Shall we there then? Come on then. This very clever really? husband of mine built this uh, sliding window. Um, just a bit of I didn't perspex. know you had a clever husband. You are very clever. <laughs> That's the other one. Oh, oh you were talking about the other one. Oh, right. I thought... <laughs> you are very clever. You know, coming up with all these very genius ideas. So, you know, obviously we can get in that way as well to. And you're going to have cupboards either side and the we're dog gonna, kennel in the middle. Yeah, right down the middle. So they'll have plenty of room. There's plenty of bed in front of Coa, <laughs> and um, yeah, so you can get a get an idea of probably use some of these green trays. So yeah, either side there, and then there'll be gas and the wastewater, and we've got a diesel heater in there as well. So this is the I inside. This is as far daddy. as we've got so far. There is lots I still to do, but it's in a livable sort of um, way at the moment. So we've got a corner seating area here. This is the mattress at the moment. It needs to be stuck together and fabric covering it and stuff. But under here, there is a like a lift up flap and we've got, that's where we're storing batteries and things mm -hmm. like that. All the electrics and things. And this is a pull out bed. This is for our, our Kaylin. It just pulls out like that so it makes a bigger bed and then they'll Perfect. all spread down um, and it's quite comfy to just sit on isn't it with i can imagine us not putting the bed away to be honest so there's the seat in slash kaylin's bed perfect and then kitchen right next to it we've got an oven which it takes two and a half hours to cook an apple pie <laughs> yeah we're not sure whether to keep it or not but Looks good. Yeah, it does look good. And then one big door here. We are going to put a drawer in here for pots and pans and things. And it's all going to be the same as this. This is uh, Shisugi Band. You got it right again. Which is a, <laughs> did, a Japanese wood, burning, wood preservation technique. Um, so that'll have like cool box and... Shelf for pans and bits and pieces. Yeah. Still needs <coughs> a bit of work doing to it. And then up here... That will be a cupboard with same doors as this. 
food storage up there and then we're going to just have some open shelves up to about here with the tea coffee sugar fruit vet, you know stuff like that um the cab we haven't done anything yet but we will be putting some sliding doors in there you've got a lot of storage up there haven't you it's a massive massive area um this is our sink and cooker it's a smev three burner lids just lift up i love love this sink and cooker so a sink on that side three burner ring on that side um gas bottle like i said before will be stored under the garage so yeah it just it makes it so much easier to cook when you've got extra work surface and then the enormous bed <laughs> the enormous bed yes which we <coughs> we actually created the mattress from a single foam mattress it was a very thick mattress so we've stuck stuck all of that on there and then we're going to put that memory foam topper over the top and uh, that saved us quite a bit of money didn't it not having to buy a mattress and then this side i don't know if you can yep. you see the cupboard doors here we've got a cupboard at the side of the bed and they it literally goes right down to the <coughs> bottom of the bed as well so we've got quite a lot of storage in there uh cupboard doors have all got these lovely hinges on and they <laughs> will have the same effect as the kitchen cupboard as well so that's about as far as we've got actually but you need to talk about that amazing roof one more oh the roof that is oh just this beautiful. was this was all <coughs> filled and sanded by me i i am not joking it is smooth as a baby's bum and that's all pallet wood isn't it <laughs> all pallet wood in fact most of the furniture is made from pallet wood so <laughs> there's been a lot of stripping pallets denailing pallets sanding pallets my life has just been all about pallets for the last three months <laughs> it looks you probably can't see it on this camera but it's absolutely amazing that roof really, i'm very really very very proud and the wall of my as roof. well the walls are so much that is well. yeah and we think we're going to leave that as it is but yeah. we'll decide as we go we were thinking about whitewashing but i like the grain i think the no, i do like it, it yeah there's just one more thing we've got the <coughs> toilet area there that there will be a bench to cover that mm -hmm. so we'll have a hidden toilet and to keep the dogs in we've got this sliding door perfect so that that literally just moves but what it also does is it gives us access to the garage on the inside so if we want anything out of there we just have to shift the dogs out and crawl, crawl in Brilliant. very, very clever fitted idea as well now. i can see the digital the heater, display there. but yeah this it's so so oh, amazing um and it just comes out here so when you're having a pee <laughs> you can actually feel the hot air warming your feet <laughs> it's brilliant or burning the back of your legs or burning the back of your legs it does get hot so yeah i'm so so happy with it and there's it. lots of brilliant videos of these two working really hard to actually fit everything out and fit everything and all the modifications and bits and pieces and the amount of welding that's been done on this van it's just there's amazing. still more welding to do on it <laughs> you've done this on a budget though haven't you yeah amazing. i can't tell you how much we've spent because we, we have kept all the receipts we plan on you know do, doing a budget breakdown video at some but point did, when we finally finish did you work out the van was about 800 pound in the end by, 800 by, pounds yeah. but with that we had was it a water pump yeah water pump fitted because i noticed the That's water right. pump yeah. there was some oil on the floor just as we'd shook hands on the deal so that had to get fitted before we took the van away and also when we got home the guy the mechanic where we got it from he told purdy that the fuel tank dial wasn't this. working I love this. we got it home and discovered that there was actually a full tank of fuel in there that's about 120 pounds worth of answer. fuel <laughs> So yeah, it was a bargain at the time, but we didn't realise quite how much welding needed doing. So how many hours so, do you reckon you've put in so far? <gasps> uh, four months. Yeah. Four months. Solid. Of, it's, it's been uh, pretty solid. We haven't really had a day off apart from today. And a lot of that has been on the van though, hasn't it? Actually getting the van welded together yeah, and all the bits yeah. and pieces. Yeah. If it wasn't for keep... all the welding, we would have been on the road by now, yeah. definitely. At least you know it's going to be a strong van now with all that welding. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, the thing is, now, um, the engine, yeah, it's done 180,000 miles. 
which is not a lot for a transit no. for a start. Um, because it's a Ford but transit, the parts are going to be. Wherever you go in the world, you're bound to get a scrapyard that you can pick up a, yep. a spare part for a transit. That was our thinking anyway. And, um, but with even having, if you need another engine. Yeah. You know. Kaylin's yeah. just hopped into the cupboard. <laughs> <laughs> And Why else would you keep a child? And, and <laughs> <laughs> we have a special cage. It's a <laughs> um, yeah, with having all the welding done now, we've got a house with a solid foundation. Yeah. And um, that's going to last us for. But it really years. proves that you can have a van life on a budget, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Really. The only thing, the only like big expense really has been screws. We've probably spent about £100, maybe more, on screws. And, and if you look at that, heater. you can see where all they've gone. <laughs> Mainly on the roof. <laughs> the diesel heater, that was another bigger expense, but we went for the Chinese one. So and it works How much perfect. was that, roughly? It was 170 about 170 Which is fantastic value. Yeah. You yeah. see so many people on YouTube now putting those in because they're such brilliant value. And the yeah. video that we did of the installation... In a week, how many views have we oh, had? About 711. So it yeah. just proves people yeah. are wanting Definitely. to put them in. And, I think we've done and it, it is a life changer. Yeah. You know, we've yeah. said before in our T5 we didn't have a heater. Now we've got a heater in this one. It's just brilliant. And it you don't need it, it on so for long. It's so much more comfy. And cheap to run. Yeah, very they are cheap very to cheap to run. And particularly if you're going to live it in full time. Brilliant location to actually do the work on the van as well. Yes, definitely. Um, certainly follow my uh, feet, meeting Derek 20 odd years ago. He's been a. <laughs> A saviour for the guy has definitely. This place so. is just amazing though, it's, um, it's just near North Allerton. It's Century Circle Camping, they've got uh, pods up in the field just up at the top there. Uh, there's one for dis it has disabled facilities and then there's another more family orientated pod and, and a lover's nest at the far end and it does feel like a family doesn't it i've only been here yeah, for a few hours yeah, and everybody's yeah. lovely really very, really very nice. friend very friendly um we have some some pretty good events on like it's reenactment <laughs> battles and, and stuff like that guys swinging swords about oh, wow and um, there was um, a little bit of combat training there was archery they had archery on the on the field uh, quite a few. And you can come in your camper van and spend the night. There's facilities up the top, top showers and everything. And Red those hot pods. showers. And it's Red got hot. a lovely view and it's got its own stone circle. Yes, yes. Uh, full time van life mm. is about to start for you very soon. Very, very soon. And you have a very, very clever plan. How are you going to earn money while you're on the road? Yeah. And well, that includes? Uh, it's called Matched Betting. I've been doing it for. As, long, as old as she is now, she'll be three in December. Um, and I, I found it on the internet, really. Uh, it was something that I was searching for when I was pregnant with her. I didn't want to have to go back to work. I wanted to breastfeed. So I needed something that I could do with her with me. And I searched high and low on the internet trying to find something. And I was just finding it. I was just hitting a brick wall every time. And, and then I stumbled across this match betting. And not only did I just, you know, randomly find something in the Google search, it was also recommended by the money saving expert. Um, there's articles in it in The Guardian and, you know, there's lots of reputable places. So I thought, right, I'll give it a go. I'm willing to risk 30 quid. That's what I started with. And I did it. And putting that first bet on, I was shaking <laughs> like a leaf. I didn't tell him, I didn't tell you, because you have to put two bets on to make your money. I'll t tell you how it works. So say the bookie has a promotion for bet £10, get £10 free bet. You'll do your £10 bet, and that just involves putting a bet on at the bookies and a bet on at the exchange. And you'll do that with the, you know, the first bet, the bet £10 one, your qualifying bet, we call it and you might lose up to a pound or something on that one because it's the qualifying bet when you get your free bet you do the same again back at the bookies lay at the exchange and you'll make you know that 10 that 10 pounds comes to you um it probably works out but more more like seven or eight pound but that's that's the gist of it really um and i use a site called odds monkey and that gives you all the software that you need it'll find the good odds for you it'll um, the calculators work out everything that you need to put, you know, all the numbers that you need to put into the, into the, you know, when you're backing your bet and, and, and laying it. So you join that, don't you? And you pay a fee for Yeah, that. I pay, it's less than £20 a month. 
Um, but you know, the protect the earning potential far outweighs the the um, outlay. And yeah, like I said, I've been doing it for quite a long time now, a few years, and it's something that is going to be bringing in the income for us to be able to keep going with van life you and know that, full time on the road that's going to be your only income pretty much yeah, yeah. You... i am working on other things but it's also giving them giving me a bit of extra money to be able to like invest in other areas like cryptocurrency and and things like that it's so I, I quite enjoy doing it as well actually and how many hours a day do you reckon you do uh, maybe a couple of hours a day yeah. and you've set yourself a budget how much you need when you're on the road yeah and that'll um, we'll, give you enough money that, yeah 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 it will it will. I mean, we're not we're not going to be living a luxurious lifestyle on it, but you know there are people. There's like a, a forum on the on Smunky website, and there's people on there. You know, you, they're earning anywhere between 150 pounds to 8,000 pounds a month. Wow. From match betting. Wow. Which is crazy, but you'd need to put some hours in yeah, to yeah. get the 8,000 a month. That, that's that not is, two hours a day. That is not two hours a day. <laughs> no. But uh, yeah, quite but enjoy to, it. It's, enable, it's a guaranteed way to make money as well. It's not just, you know. To it, enable you to live the life of freedom and being on the road all the time and just putting two hours a day in, and that gives you enough money to fund everything. It amazing, sounds like a it? dream, doesn't it? Fantastic. <laughs> I'm really excited. I can't and you, wait. Do you have a link for this? Is that I do. I'll, I'll pass you the link, Dave, yeah. and then if you want to put it in the description, and if anybody wants to check the site out, if you've got any questions, put them in the comments of this video and I'll come back and check them out. Yeah, and... Because I won't be able to answer I know. <laughs> I'll pass you on oh, to the just, expert. Just give me a nudge. Yeah, and, yeah I'll be sending know, them on to Happy to, to help anyone out because it's, well, Christmas is round the corner as well, isn't it? So, yeah, yeah. you know, it's a good way to bring in a bit of extra cash. Really? You don't have to be a van lifer to do it. Anyone can do it. Fantastic. So, so you've got it sorted, really, haven't you? Yeah, pretty you, You've much. got a family that's happy to be on the road. Yeah. You've, you've, you've done it all on a tight budget. Very tight budget. You, you've got your van practically finished now a few more bits and pieces to do you'll soon be on the road and you have a way of earning an income that'll, that'll sustain yeah, you on the road yeah, as well yeah perfect solution yeah, we've got it all sussed yeah the people will be <laughs> employing you as a consultant way, but... to tell you how to do it yeah <laughs> <laughs> i'll have to write a book <laughs> exactly when's the book coming what would you call your book um, oh, i have no idea why don't the viewers think oh, the name okay, there you i, I will write a book there you go <laughs> <laughs> pop, pop a name! <laughs> Suggestions for the book at the bottom. This was where we stayed last night. It was a rather rainy night. There's a lovely view over there. And right close to facilities. Showers and toilets. These are the camping pods they have on the site. It's all dog friendly. This one's got a ramp for disabled access. Behind is the stone circle and in front it's a little performance area and then that amazing view and it's only seven pound a night to stay here and it's really relaxed really nice people Derek the guy who owns it lives in that house over there he's a really nice chatty guy and of course you'd build yourself a stone circle on your land wouldn't you <laughs> ideal spot to have it sun's just coming up there on the horizon over the top of the hill.